so so you want to go to grad school, right? You, you could either go straight into the workforce, or or you can uh, come over to the side and go off to grad school. Uh, I looked up uh, a little bit about who actually um, goes to grad school, who doesn't, uh, what types of jobs you can get with your econ major, and what types of jobs do econ majors actually end up in too. Uh, it may surprise you that economists doesn't show up in the top 10. Heck, it doesn't show up in the top 20. You have to go all the way to 23 to see economists. All right, there it is down at the bottom <laughs> on your bottom right-hand side. And the only reason we make into the 23rd slot is because they lump in market researchers with us. <laughs> and so when you think about all the possible jobs that economics majors uh, go into, Economist is not even in the top 20. It's showing you how versatile of a, a major it really is. It, it's, it's the great major for the undecided who wants to still do business, right? It's the great major for the undecided who still wants to be in politics or social science. Uh, that, that's what it has as its benefit. The number one job is some form of manager. And so how I calculated this uh, table here is I went to the American Community Survey and in the American Community Survey, you can actually see the majors of the people who went to college. Uh, the nice thing about the American Community Survey is that it's representative of the entire United States. You can download and get about 3 million observations. Uh, you can then weight that up to get your 350 million uh, US uh, residents here. And from there, I was able to construct this list. So the top two are gonna be manager and lawyer. That's why I was surprised I didn't see any lawyers in here. <laughs> the other ones that you'll see after that are financial managers, uh, CEOs, accountants, uh, a lot of uh, workforce and uh, management analysts. In fact, basically any job that ends with analysts, an economist could probably uh, apply to. <laughs> but who wants to go to grad school? It turns out that um, social scientists in general are very optimistic about their chances of going to grad school. The charts that you see before you uh, tell you what percentage of people believe they would only get their bachelor's degree versus getting some advanced degree. So the dark blue there are the folks who say they're going to end at their bachelor's. And about 30% of everyone who goes to college says that their bachelor's degree is their terminal degree. For the social science, it's about 25.7%. But look how much, uh, how many people are saying they're going to go to some form of grad school, right? So you have 42% of people who have a social science as their major are going to go and get a master's. You have another 15% on top of that who say they're going to go off and get some professional degree. So this is your JD, your MBA. Uh, and then this uh, other group of people on top of that, so 12.3% on top of that believe they're going to go and get their PhD. And that's much, much larger than what you see in general and definitely what you see just in business. In business, that same number is only 2.8%. So then I went ahead and I looked at the distribution that actually happens, right? So the previous one was what people said they were going to do. Uh, as good economists, we, we like to study people's actions rather than what they say. And what we actually see happen is that 60% of people stop at the bachelor's degree. So they stop with their bachelor's degree in econ. But there's still a fairly large percentage, about 27.5%, who go off to do a master's degree another 8.5% do some form of a professional degree, and then 4% still go off to do the PhD. Now, among the PhD, um, the ratios are about the same for uh, men and women across all of these categories, but they are two to one, meaning that for every two uh, men, there is one woman who goes off to uh, get a PhD. So there is a bit of a gender imbalance, something that uh, has improved over time, but we're, we still need to catch up. So that brings me over to what the distribution of eco economics majors looks like by race. Uh, I, I'm here and, and lots of the other people are here to see these numbers become more diverse and they actually have become more diverse over time, but it is uh, predominantly uh, white uh, and Asian. Once you go past those two groups, you're talking about 10% making up everyone else. Right. So 90% are either white or Asian. Uh, black comes in at only 5.9%. Uh, 
Uh, other uh, multiple races comes in at 4%, and then uh, Native Americans and uh, Alaska Natives come in at less than half a percent. <clears throat> we don't include Hispanics in there because we're looking at race versus uh, uh, ethnicity when we're talking about Hispanics. Hispanics make up about 7.2% of uh, the, this group. 